Hello everyone. In this part, we will start to build this simple water bottle thing. And first, drag the image in Rhino and put it into the front view window. And drag it to the position you like. And you can keep it, keep at it. For example, drag it in perspective window a little bit back and move it into another layer and lock it. Now it won't be selected and won't bother your work. Before you start to work, you have to clarify your modeling idea. And by this model, you can divide it into two parts. For example, upper and lower. And when the modeling of these two things is finished, you can connect them and the model will be done. And then you have to decide what kind of basic shape to use. For example, if you want to start from the lower part, naturally the truncated cone is perfect. And vertical phase is 3, around phase is 8, solid no, and put the central point at the right position and build, uh, build the first shape. Now you can start to adjust the form and you can use the line select tool, select a layer and keep pressing shaped, adjust it one by one, zoom it in or zoom, zoom it out and until you are satisfied. Mm, and I think the, the form is good enough right now. Okay, perfect. A good start is uh, first step to success. And the next thing we need to do is fill the border base. You can use the line select tool, select the edge, and keep pressing shift and zoom it in. And now, keep pressing shift and press control. Now you can see you build a, you drag a new surface, new face out. And then you can fill the hole by the order fill sub the hole. And now the bottom of the bottle is finished. And then by upper part you can use cylinder and change the vertical phase to 3 and around phase to 8 then by O snap you can make the control point stay on the center line and you can drag a circle drag the circle in right view window and then drag the cylinder out in front view window. And now you can see the angle of this shape is a little bit wrong. And you can use the rotate order in Rhino standard move and select it and roll it a little bit. Make it right. Okay, then you can move it a little bit and keep adjust. Now you can use the line select tool and adjust the spot thing. Row it, rotate it and zoom it in, zoom it out. And then the middle part of this thing, rotate and zoom it in and keep adjusting. And from to left, from left to right, one by one, drag in and zoom it out. 
and the last part the last age make it perfect okay done Oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I shouldn't build it in solid. So I have to delete these faces. Okay, now it's perfect. Okay, you can press tab and check the form. And now you can see the form. This form, it shrink a little bit here. So you can use the insert sub the age tool here. I'm sorry, switch, switch it to rain type. And I add a line here and select it, rotate it, zoom it in. Okay, it's much more, much more better. And now you can use a point select tool and keep adjusting. Maybe some of you think the point adjusting is really boring, but I like it very much because I think this is the most attractive part of Rhino. Okay. Make it perfect. And maybe you can insert a line here. But by me, I think this is enough. Press tab and you can see the form is, I think, is good enough. Okay, then the next step is connect the, these two parts. But one thing you have to make sure is the edge to the two edges to connect, they must have the same quantities of lines. But if you delete the face, and you, if you check, you will see the lower parts have eight lines, but the upper upper part, the upper edge, it have only six lines. So the connect work, the connect order won't be worked. And the next thing you have to do is insert a insert a line in the middle part and you can use the line select tool, select tool to adjust it a little bit and this line is not straight and you can use the coordinate set tool in rather standard mode and make it straight and back to subd mode and adjust a little bit more okay and now oh um, Oh no, the, the form shrink too much, so you can drag it a little bit out. You can select the points side by side and zoom it out. And this part too and the lower part press tab okay it's look good and now you can delete these faces and now you can see it got eight edges eight lines 
And now you can use connect order and double click the first aid, double click the second aid and right click. Now it worked good. Okay, it still has some problems in the form. It's too this part is too lower. And you can select this two points and zoom it out a little bit. And this two point two and this two points drag to the right position. And I think the position of the upper part is not so good. You can drag it a little bit, drag it a little bit to right. And you can keep adjusting. You can always keep adjusting by your modeling process. Okay, and switch to render mode and check it out. Okay, I think it's good enough, but I want to make it much more better. I want to make the form still a little bit lower, lower. Okay, this time good enough, I think. Okay. And the next thing we need to do is give the bottle, give it a thickness. And okay, we can use the uh, offset sub D order and select the form, select the shape and switch it. I think three is good and right click. Okay, it work. And now you can see after the offset, offset order, uh, the, the face have some problem at the spot, spot part. You can still use this set coordinates, coordinates work order to make this, make the line straight. This is the uh, advantage of study. Uh, you can use uh, when you use study, you can still use the uh, most the all of the old orders in Rhino standard mode. And by the coordination cooperation of these two works, you can make really really nice model. Mm. Here's not so good, I think. Keep adjusting. Always keep adjusting. And I'll check it out. It's really good. Okay, and we can see after offset, the spot of the bottle, the age of the spot, they have creases. So now we can use the uh, remove craze order to make the to make this age round. Click the button and oh, I'm sorry, got some problem. Okay, select the age, double click it and this part two. And the line became the thick of the line became normal. And this part two remove Chris. Uh, line select moves. Double click. By this side too, double click. Now it worked. Maybe you think, uh, maybe you can see 
that uh, age is too sharp the thickness is too thin and you can add some add a line by the insert sub D tool and make the age more round more round the other side too you can control the position of the line really flexible flexible and keep adjusting until you are satisfied and switch to render mode and check out perfect okay the modeling is done and see you in next part we'll build some complexer model in next part see you